<laughs> Hi, welcome to the Jen and Margie show. We're here to have a community conversation, so we hope you call in. I'm Margie Wigan, and I'm Jen Belisi. And Hello. our phone number to call. Oh, hold on one sec. Our phone number to call <laughs> is 508-435-7880. You can also email us live at hcam.tv about anything we're talking about, anything that occurs to you while we're talking or something you think we should talk about. We'd love to hear from you. We have a couple of special guests this evening. First, we have Roger Cabler, who is a local artist, does a couple of different things, very creative guy. And uh, Thank you. so, Roger, you have a show coming up um, I, that only showcases part of everything you do, which is the comedy piece. Yes. And do you want to start talking about that, or do you want to talk about your painting? Well, since we're here, I'm doing a Robin Williams tribute. Um, I have been doing it for the last couple of years. I feel a calling to do that. I feel compelled to carry on his work since um, he's actually seen me do him on TV. And I guess really? I, just, I heard he liked it. Wow. So, you know, he just came and said, hey, let's go back to work. So I guess that's what I'm doing. And, you know, I've been developing the show as a tribute and as a way to um, not... To avoid getting a job, it, it actually pays sometimes. So <laughs> this way, I don't have to punch a clock. I just do a show once in a while, and it's at Hanto's on uh, this Saturday night. How, how often? 15, yeah, yeah. How often have you Hanto. done that show? Well, on a good month, I'll do it like four times, but yeah. it's exhausting. I mean, doing Robin is like kind of like hang gliding in a windstorm. It's weird. I, I, it's 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 a, an incredible experience to to write in his style and then perform. But I after. The first half, which is all Robin, then I do the second half of the show, which is called Over Actors Anonymous, and I do a lot of other impressions <laughs> as well. Yeah. And then it gets. Who's your favorite over actor? Oh, I don't know. I like Jim Carrey as an over actor. Yeah, yeah, Jim Carrey's a heck of an over actor. Yeah, um, he's but uh, kind of scary sometimes. He actually. is a little scary. I don't really do Jim Carrey mm -hmm. in my act, but I do uh, Robert De Niro. And Al Pacino and Marlon Brando. And well, you, you look like their cousins. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, it looks like and, they all got together and, and made something. So. <laughs> you. And the other thing that I've seen you do in town is Columbo. Yes, I so get. <laughs> you put on the trench coat and the, the yeah. suit and tie. No, jacket and, I don't know, shirt and tie. Yeah. Pants, obviously. Shoes. But you do something interesting with your face. Yeah. Can you do the interesting thing in your face and look at this camera right here, like the Colombo face? Well, I Give don't. Give us the Colombo face. I'm like a groundhog. I do it once every year. I come out in a horrible parade. They throw balloons. I pick up candy and I call it a day. That's it. Balloons. So balloons. You, did the, you did the it's L. It's a speech. Yeah, it's an L. It's a speech. He drops his L. And then you do something squinty with your well, eyes. Oh, yeah. This is just... And a, you itch your head. It's kind of, you know... <laughs> it's a glass eye. Yeah. You know that about Colombo. Right, Robin but, Williams is seeping into everything right now because I've been working on him all week. And that's Robin Williams. Hi, Robin. Hi. It's nice to be... Good morning, Huffington. Yes. Nice to be here. Wow, look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, Button her up. Come on now. Oh, let's cue the little people. I'm here. Okay. I'm sorry, you were saying? Yes. This I'm is what it. happens. It's yes, like all okay. oh, the neighbors. It's like a woods. party all the time. Yeah, yeah. it's. <laughs> There's several, <laughs> okay, several people close. in there. Um, so, how did you. When uh, did you start? I, have, I don't know. <laughs> when did you start doing this? I came up doing this. When I, did you start doing Robin Williams? Oh, uh, when I was. Very first time I saw him on uh, Mork and Mindy, I said, that's me. He took my act. Mm. But I, I immediately <clears throat> took to it. And I even, it even like crept into my behavior. Um, you know, I was like shy with girls at school. I'd say, hey, you want to go out Saturday night? Okay. And it was just like weird part of me. And I'm very different than Robin. I'm my own person, but I do identify with him and I miss him. I, oh, yeah. I just, I, he was nobody's an doing amazing this. talent. Nobody else is doing this show. So you We're, have a unique, thank unique you. niche. Well, so, so let me just say, yeah. um, Robin Williams did the Mork and Mindy show. Right. That's how we all sort of became aware of, I mean, right. people in general. But there was a guy named David Steinberg. Oh, David. Uh-huh. Yeah. And David Steinberg was like a talk show host, and he he would talk, uh -huh. and then he'd do this thing where he'd go, get off. I remember that. Right? And yeah. that, to me, is a little similar mm. to the thing that Robin Williams does where there's the little people talking and the, you know, so yeah. it's a little different and it kind of takes you by surprise, yeah, but it was hilarious. Yeah, it's a little bit of a surprise. I mean, it's a little bit like the old schizophrenia. Shut up, let them talk. It's okay. Exactly. I don't know. Get off me. It's okay. Right. right. Wow. Should we this, move the water? The studio's not big to, enough for the I don't, I don't think we want to okay. spill that because you got It's okay, dude. Painting. I don't spill it. It's just water. Painting's over there. Oh, see, oh, yeah. I like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's, can you that's do my favorite yes. Robin Williams? So let's have him do Do you mind? No, I don't mind. What I'm doing different in this show, if you have to see it is that before I even step on stage 
Mrs. Doubtfire's, because I'm a little bit nervous um, anyways, I'm, I'm terrified right now. And it's the only thing I can do is just to work through it. So I'm having Mrs. Doubtfire backstage talking to Robin because he's nervous. And, and there's a bunch of people there at Hanto's and they're waiting for Robin. And so we can you just hear, hear that? You just hear you just Mrs. Hear Doubtfire it? going, it's okay, dear. They're all here for you. Oh, they love you. They're all here for tribute. Oh, I don't know. I just got flop sweat running down me. It's okay. I don't know what to say for Oh, you know you're so brave. You could have a wonderful time. Go out there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Robin Williams. Okay. You know, and it's going to so go like that. So it just helps you, helps you yes, roll that's in. Yes, and she's coming in at the end, too. And Robin helps me get through my portion of the act. When I come on stage in the second act, and I'm kind of like, oh, my God, people. And he's like, it's okay. I warmed them up for you. Mm -hmm. That's cute. It's gonna be fine. So when you when you're Mrs. Doubtfire, do you put on the wig and the dress? No, you only thing? hear me backstage. Oh. And at the very end, when Robin comes on as an old man, oh. uh, she walks him off. She says, "It's time to go, dear. These That's people sweet. need to get their checks and go home to their children." That's sweet. Oh, I just want to stay and play now. Come on. No, dear, it's okay. It's oh. time. Who else Welcome do back. you like to do impersonations of? Oh, um, I do Richard Dreyfus. You know, there's a lot of older oh, people. Oh yeah, the little at this, laugh uh, is definitely yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. Definitely. <sighs> there's a lot of older people coming to the show, and mm -hmm. they're not as familiar with Jim Carrey or right. somebody like that. Uh, they would rather see Jack Nicholson or Columbo or. Can Mom. you do Jack Nicholson? I can do Jack Nicholson <gasps> in the scene with Meryl Streep. It's very interesting. And, um, but we don't want to give away all no, of the show. No, no, no. But, I don't want, to, you know, but, but Jack you want people to go see him. Would be, yeah. I think it would be more of a stretch just because you, I don't see Jack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I didn't see um, Jack. Nixon well, first. we'll get to it. Um, and I, I was the first person to do Christopher Walken. Nobody knows that, but I'm here. Wow. Yeah, nobody knows that, but I was. And uh, wow. How do you know that you were the first person to do Because it's been Christopher proven. Walken. It's documented that. <laughs> I actually Who brought it out on MTV <laughs> in a bit called My Six Dads. And that was the first one. It was brief. Oh, yeah, that's the voice. That's yeah. Christopher. Wall so let me let me also let me just <laughs> put in here, yeah. just interject that you told me something that happened on the Carol Burnett show. Can what, you talk about that? What was that? When you were almost part of that. Oh my God, I was part of you that. Talk about but that? it was the first. I got hired to do the Carol Burnett show, and it was the first day of rehearsals, and it was the first episode, and I was chosen to do a scene one on one with Carol. So what year are we talking? 1991. Okay. And it was in uh, it was in Hollywood at CBS, and I had been chosen out of I don't know how many people to be on the new Carol Burnett show in 1991, and there were eight of us. What they, what part were you playing, or what were you? Well, it's just like a Tim Conway thing, okay. different parts, and I got hired to do impressions, but also because I'm an okay. actor and I'm a trained actor. I'm a trained actor. So you see, I got picked to do the very first scene one on one with Carol Burnett in the first episode, in the first scene of her new show. And I'm like, <laughs> I was so starstruck to be on with Carol. And everybody's there in the rehearsal room, the network and the studio and the, all the other actors and the director and all the people. And there was me and Carol and we started, and I was gonna play her agent and we started the scene and I'm like, hey, you know, and I'm trying to, and I just went like this, Carol Burnett. And I just, I just kind of couldn't function. You know, and if I was home alone, I'd be like, yeah, hey, yeah. you know, I'd be winning Oscars left and right, but I'm here with Carol Burnett, I'm freaking out and getting crazy foam in the corners of my mouth. <laughs> and, you know, I'm just not functioning, and people are going, um. And then Richard Kind, one of the other actors on the show, stepped in. He said, I have an idea. And he went like this, and I'm suddenly pushed aside, and he made the scene work. And that was the beginning of the most gut wrenching, eye opening. Nerve-wracking yeah. moments of my life because the Carol Burnett show was a was a really I remember painful, watching it as a kid. Yeah, I, I, I love got, the Carol Burnett yeah. show. I got to play some pretty cool parts, but the, not the really good one-on-one -on -one with Carol because she could see that I was the deer in the headlights mm. and they needed somebody who could really play. Yeah, and I was just too thin-skinned to really handle it. You know? So, what do you do besides doing your own stand-up? What do you currently do? Any other acting gigs? Do you have? Because we've had some things in Hopkinton film recently. Well, I, yes, I. <laughs> I, I've got a couple projects lined up. I, am, I do intend to do a Robin Williams story. It's the story of the film, and this is the first time I've ever said this to anybody, cool. is about an artist who lives in a wooded area, like I do, who gets haunted by the spirit of Robin Williams, is compelled to go out and do this show. So and sort of autobiographical. I think it's like a, a Sundance. I'm, I'm thinking yeah. Sundance Film yeah. Festival. and something. Maybe a Greenlight Project or something like that. I think that. she wants yeah. to be your agent, is what I'm hearing. Baby, I'm, I'm, let's talk. Has, I'm busy these days. I'm busy these days. We're schmoozing here. You could, you could sort of be the mediator, you know, 
because I I could do a lot of things. I think you could, but I don't. I I do a few impressions, but I'm not doing Which them ones? now. No, I'm not doing oh, them. Oh, we no. can't turn the no, tables. No. Oh, please. So, anyway, the other thing that <laughs> <laughs> the other thing to look at Roger does <laughs> is paint dogs. Yes. And other things. So, can you show us the dog picture? The first I will. one. We're there transitioning is, very quickly. Very one. right brain. Very yeah. right brain. It's okay. Right. No, I'm just like I said. To, no, I don't have to get a job if I keep doing these things. No, this, so this is, is a job. This is your gift and you're yeah, following your my, bliss. This is my mascot. Okay, Izzy. so this is what I love. So this, oil, acrylic. What are we this working? This is an oil with? painting. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Of, uh, of a, just a client who sent goodness. me photos of her dog, and this she hangs That's in my sweet. studio and just keeps an eye on me. She's like Wilson on the. You know the Tom, uh, Tom Hanks movie, Castaway? Oh, Wilson! This is my Wilson, because she just kind of looks So what I love about this is, look at the expression in this dog's face. That is just, that's an incredible, to me, there's so much soul mm -hmm. and personality in those eyes. Oh, and I've tried really to great. paint things that I'm not, you know, <laughs> there's a, that's a person you in, can the, see in it's there. On so that's Izzy, so, and then this is my latest painting. This is a, another guy sent me pictures of his, uh, of his dog and his kid, and wow. they, this is them. Yeah. Have you ever been in a juried art show? Yeah, I have, yeah, a couple. I don't really go for that too much. I just have a brisk business where I paint people's animals and their kids or whatever they, you know, what, whatever. I paint the meanings of things to them. Could you zoom in on a little bit just to get a look at this kid's face? Because that's, that's the money show right there. That's the but, kid. But yeah. even the dog, I mean, the dog, you can tell <sighs> the dog <Yeah. laughs> makes noises too. Yeah, he's Wait, looking at you. I shouldn't have like, my finger so close. You can have, right. Well, he's kind of got his hand around the dog's <laughs> neck. Like, oh, can you take your hand off my neck? Please? Yeah, right. But, but he's a cute kid. The though. other thing I love about this is you captured, I, it seems to me like you captured the personality Thank you. of the boy and the dog. I try. I you know, really, really and that's amazing. Spend to me. a lot of time trying to understand the people and the animals. And yeah. That's see, I'm not about style. I don't right. care about style, like even color. I just want to get the meaning of something. Right. So, and this happens, by the way. Let me back here for a second. This is actually the woods in. Um, this is the uh, the land reserve behind uh, Lake Whitehall. This is actually Beautiful. that background. Yeah. There's an so area behind Reed Park. That's where it is. Beautiful. Can I show this other one real quick? Yeah. yeah of course. Where'd you go to school, so we, he also I didn't does, go to art school. I just taught. He just is an artist. I just look at art. So he also does some uh, more commercial Mount, things. Yeah, this is Mount Rushmore. And this is a poster. That's fine. Because he made we, a bunch of them. Yeah, this is, these are, <laughs> this is actually, yeah, these are all prints, except for the kid and the dog. Yeah, this has gotten some play. Big Poppy signed the original a couple months cool. ago, and uh, we're going to get all these guys to sign. And so this, we got Brady, Larry Bird. Yeah, Are you Bobby going to, Orr, and, once you get uh, to um, donate it, or I, would you donate it if everybody signs it for charity, well, or would you just kind of keep... That's the idea. We're raising money for charity, for children's charity. Uh, Steve Burton broke it on his show, oh, yeah, the original, yeah. and then it sold in... Um, it sold... Uh, the original? Well, it's not that it's sold. He's holding on to it for me. And then we're talking about a pending sale once all the autographs are there. And, the, and half the money will go to children's charity. So that's the name of that tune. So where were, you, where were you trained? Where was art school? Art school was here. <laughs> OK, art school was here. Where was acting school? There, oh, that was in New York. I went one couple years in New York. I went to a couple sort of academies, and they threw me out. I was busy doing Al Pacino when we were supposed to be doing ballet. <laughs> I don't plie. And that was that. That was that, but I understand that I had more of a career in comedy, and I did some serious work too. But um, what's the big one in New York? The um, the Actors Studio. Yes, have you ever done that? Um, no, but I've watched it. And yeah. uh, the the thing about that I wanted to get back to uh, Robin Williams is um, he did an episode of Actors Studio, although I'm sure he never studied there. But they asked him, the students asked him, "What is your greatest accomplishment?" And he said, "I haven't done it yet." Nice. And so that, he's still hungry. I think he still is, and I think that's yeah. part of what's going on, and that's part of what this project is about. I think I'm feeling a real tug to do this work, and I feel like this is a partnership. And sometimes I go off in these woods that I showed you, and Robin and I talk, and I say, Robin, do you have any idea how hard this is? Mm. And he goes, you know how hard I'm working? <laughs> you know how hard it is to come Up back here? to life? Up here? Yes, oh my God. And it's like, oh, I just realized that because this isn't his body or his face or his voice, but he's using me as a kind of a puppet to work. Because eventually we're going to do USO shows. Nice. And that's the work oh, that he didn't wonderful. finish. That's what he, oh. and to me this is that a great is accomplishment for him. And it's a mission for you. It's a mission for me so to, get, to sort of help. It's kind of like Field of Dreams, mm. eases pain. 
-hmm. and, and I'm a spiritual guy and I feel that there is something really happening here mm. not to freak you out it's not just a show it's a seance okay <laughs> we have a good time we have, we have a really good time people cry and laugh I mean they're, right. they're moved because yeah. I, I you know once I start moving and it's on Robin comes out and plays exactly it's like you're channeling it's a lot of yeah. hugging and yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of laughter yeah there is a channeling thing and the more I work on it the more the audience digs it the more it's it happens. It's a thing. It just happens. Sometimes it's just it looks when it doesn't go well. It's like a sweaty guy in a bad wig. No, I've got to go for five minutes. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got an email. Yay! Um, uh oh. It says, "Do you go to parties? Can you be hired to go to parties? Oh yes. Can you? Oh awesome. yeah. What a great idea. So how would yeah. somebody get in touch with you? Do you have a website? Do you well, have? Uh, call the station here, and they, you guys can put me in touch. Okay. Would that be okay? Sure. Actually, I should give you the number to call also for the Hantos line. It's the same number as mine. Yeah. Sure. It's three one zero. Five nine one four seven one one. Okay, so that would be if somebody somebody could get in touch with you directly for that. So yes, that's the contact. That's fun. That's that is my contact for reservations and for painting. And to, if you want to party, we can do that too. So painting. I'm Party yeah, and Honto right. comedy show is three one zero five nine one four seven one one. That's my number. And <laughs> Ricky, don't lose that number. Ricky, don't lose that and, number. And um, and the show is at Honto in Ashland in that CVS Plaza. Yes, right between Family time? Dollar and Papa Gino's. Big <laughs> time. <laughs> what time? It's at seven o'clock. You get the dinner and the show. Oh, really? Yes, for twenty dollars. Oh, that's Where's nothing. Where's the camera? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for dinner and a show. Dinner and a show. I do about an hour and a half. Robin Williams. That's, a, that's worth and it. And other multiple ones. other I characters. I do Godfather the musical, which is really weird. <laughs> And then there's oh, dancing. So and there's trumpet impressions as well. Funny. There's that. Yeah, there's, there's okay. a lot of singing impressions. There's Neil Diamond. There's um, mostly oldies, you know. Oldies but goodies. That's fine. Uh, Recognizable, fun stuff. Yeah, I like an older <laughs> crowd. I, you know, there's a few kids in the audience too. Well, the thing is, because you're you're just naturally funny, that is one of you your gifts. funny? Yes. Bless you. you think <laughs> really? you, too. So, so the thing is, the kids are going <laughs> to... The kid, Don't fall off. The yeah. kids are going to enjoy... You just because you're funny, and you because you switch it up so fast that they don't, you know, there's a lot of ADHD out there now, and they're gonna not, you know, you, you keep <laughs> them the entertained. Wah -wah. No. ADD, and it's I been added. Say that. Um, um, well, the thing is, uh, Hopkins and Family Day on September 16th, I will be doing some sh sort of show. Great. But this show at Hantos is a little naughty because it's for adults. You can't okay. be, you have to be 18. So don't bring the toddlers but to the show on. The toddlers, I don't mind because they, they're illiterate they're, anyway. They don't understand. He's but be somewhere a between fresh. toddler and 18, no. Okay. Because it's Robin and it's more of a tribute mm. than anything, but he also was a stand up comedian and he was a little naughty, just not offensive. It's, it, there's no racism, sexism. Any any kind of ismism, but he does talk about his addiction, his recovery, and and life. And um, there's a tribute to mo his movies, which is very funny. All his different characters pop up. Great, out. I love it, including Fine. Aladdin, the genie from Are Aladdin. Are you kidding? I do the song. <laughs> I'm not doing it here though. It's, <laughs> yes. it's a little too much for this. Okay. Hey, glad so. you can make it. Look, there's a real person. <laughs> So All thank right. you so much for coming. Yeah. It's good it? to meet yeah. you. Do I get a lollipop or anything? I don't have one. I we just probably want to say hi, have something. You've been great. I'm celebrating three years here in this blessed place. Oh, I just nice. love wow. it here. Wow. And you have you have a studio with the shingle of that beautiful dog. Yes, it is on Wood called Street. Wood Woodville um, Gallery. Woodville Gallery. And so far, I probably owe the town forty bucks to keep my shingle up. Uh, I have I'll no idea. <laughs> no, but, uh, I, no, but it's, it's great because they just there's flowers. There's like flowers in a chamber pot and uh, yeah. And there's all you across know, from the post office. It's very very rustic. Perfect. Everything in that what I call it my museum of crap. There's all these bottles that I dig up in dumps around town. That's my hobby. That's and another. We'll talk artifacts. about dumpster another time. diving dumpster another diving? time. Yes, right. maybe. It may be a more right. personal conversation. No, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you so much Thank for you taking the time so much. with us. I appreciate you very and, much. Uh, you did a great show. Thank you. Oh well, no. Keep just, up the good work. We were just both talking. Of you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very okay. much. We're gonna so take we'll, a short break, okay. and we'll be back. Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. A very special dessert done by a woman from Hopkinton that yes. I've started using regularly. We had your residents participating both as vendors and as shoppers. And that, that was, oh, that was so, so much fun. fun. Uh, Real Hopkinton Housewives, if you're on Facebook, you will have a blast. Thanks for joining Cheers, us. guys. Thank you. Yeah, good to see you too. Bye-bye. 
Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. This week on HKM Television. And we're back. Welcome back. We have Selectman John Catino here with us. Good evening. Hi, John. Hi, John. And um, a frequent um, contributor to HCAM and programming and, and PSAs yeah. and all that kind of fun stuff. And currently you are chairman of the board of Selectman. That is correct. And when, when is your term up? Uh, <laughs> Well, <laughs> my, just started. My, yeah, I just started, started this, this election. <laughs> yes. Uh, so three years. Three years. Three yes, years. Actually, yes, I believe it'll end uh, May of uh, twenty. No, it won't end. You'll just keep continuing for another three. Well, this, this, and this three term more. Will, this, well, this term will end. There are term yes. term limits. Well, no, there's a there's a term. A, I know. Yes, but you one, could one has to be reelected. <laughs> yes. So. so can you can you be chairperson in every subsequent election, or do you do you all vote internally and you have to rotate? There there right. are um, we have uh, our own bylaws within the board of selectmen that we only do uh, one year at a time as as a chair. Oh okay. And so the chairs have to change, and it just it brings it brings new life to a to a board, and 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 it cross trains us. <laughs> and it's a different. You have different management styles, a right. little bit. I mean, well, you're doing, you you're tell, doing a great job. Well, as you can, you can tell, you know, it's it's really tough following Brian. Brian's very polished, and he's he really has has the command of the uh, of the TV screens and the microphones. And uh, I've seen him in action. Well, he right. definitely is is refined and sophisticated in right. person and on screen for sure. Um, but yet, you are too. Yeah. I think you're refined and sophisticated. Well, but, and but yes, I love your socks. Can we show your socks? Oh. oh my gosh! You I do. Me. Because okay, you go. I'm okay, serious. Okay, Look, yes, we have to see the socks. They're argyle, okay, yes, pink, okay, yeah. and well, my gray. Daughter's, my daughter says you have like to do. Perfect. She says I'm you have to do. It. Well, I grew up with three sisters. It's, three I sisters and mother and grandmother. I love this. Yes, so. Thank you for doing that. Thanks. Yes, I know it's not in the well, requirements. Well, come on the Jen and Margie show. I, yeah, the see, you gotta have some pizzazz. Right. Even though yesterday, uh, yesterday was more of a dress down day for the board of selectmen. I didn't wear a tie and just wore. Just wore because a tie. you were in executive tie. session, so you don't always have to dress for executive session. Oh no, no, session? no, no, no. We had a we had a full meeting, and that oh. was what I was going to what I was going to get to is that you know Brian really does run a great meeting, and and really he 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 does a great job. Um, filling in people when it comes time to we're doing votes and, and explaining everything. And uh, I'm just working on the heels of that. So, well, he explained it last year. And so I, I tried to run a, a, a tighter meeting when, when, when I was doing um, uh, Zach or, or, or filling in on the planning board. Uh, Ken Weissmantel always said, you know, we're, they're, they're, everybody's a volunteer. Perfect. And everybody's volunteering the time. So, and even the people coming to, to watching the meetings, you know, they're, they're, they're giving up some of their time. So yeah. let's not keep them any longer than they have to. <clears throat> so yesterday, yeah, so yesterday, you know, when, when things don't require extra time, then let's just let's vote on it and, and let's Move get through on. it. Yeah. Right. Well, yes. I have to say, I think Brian, because Brian was on the board of selectmen before, <clears throat> I think he's had more practice than well, you. Well, yeah, he's, this I, is I, ninth so year, I, so yeah. So exactly. So that's ahead. really, I think mm -hmm. for me, that's what I'm looking at when I look at the way you're you're managing the room and the the discussion, and and then Brian will interject something or add something. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that he, it's just because he has more experience, not because you are not as good as he is. That's just my Oh, opinion. no, no, no. It, it, again, it's, it's when we talk about, <laughs> no, it's, it's, like no, it's like we, it's like we so talk we, about management styles, and yes. it's, it's, it's the way we look at, you know, yeah. at the camera. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think you do a great job. I, I think they all do a great job. I just want to say kudos to all the selectmen for the Absolutely. the hours Yay. upon hours, the 40 Thank hour you. week work week that yeah. you put but, in. And that's, a, and that's a thing I think people, oh, uh, well, that, awesome. that, that, that I got a touch of as vice chairman for two years that, of right. how much work it is. 
but actually being chairman now, it truly is uh, f f at least a 40 hour week. I mean, this entire day I was doing selectman stuff that starting first thing this morning and, and meetings at Town Hall and then meetings in Wellesley and then I'm now I'm here. Thank well, you. What a Thank segue, you so much though, for, for giving us some time. I oh, no, it's my pleasure. Yeah, yeah. It's, because I, 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 you know, I want people to see that that it's that we're more than just the uh, hour, two hours, three hours, or four hours uh, every other Tuesday. Oh uh, that, yeah, that, that, absolutely. You know, we are, we are, and that's something I've always I, I wanted people to see is, you know, uh, that's why I go to all the events. You know, yes, I try. So you know, I, I I try to get to as many other board meetings as possible, and I'm actually missing some today. Oh, uh, Wednesdays are really one of my busiest days because wow. we have we, we there are multiple meetings on Wednesdays. And Who, who's Thank meeting you. tonight? Is planning board tonight? Uh, no, that's no, planning Monday. board's planning board's Monday, okay. but uh, we have uh, um, Upper Charles, and we mm. have um, what else is Wednesday? Um, Lots. Yeah, there's, there's, Lots. <laughs> there are there are several. Um, so, and so, so you were at Town Hall today. Let's talk about Town Hall. Oh, which yeah. which yeah. Town Hall were you at? Because as we know, <laughs> Town in, Hall is, is being renovated due to a an issue. That I, we'd love for you to leak. talk about that. And we yeah. can't even say temporary Town Hall because we've already had four temporary Town Halls. This right. is the temporary unified Town Hall, I guess would probably the best way to describe so it. So where was everybody located? Because I know that I've walked into the top of the fire oh. station. Yep. Mm -hmm. before I ended my Board of Health term mm -hmm. to speak to the Board of Health right. at a queue next to, you know, somebody's assistant next to somebody's assistant next to... Um, and Norm Kamala was downstairs in the fire station, wasn't he? He was upstairs in the back with okay, Maria. I, I have to say there was probably 10 departments yep. and Luck was there in the back and then... Mm -hmm. So there was a million... Connor Deacon was at the uh, police station as mm -hmm. you come in the door. Right. So town clerk's office was, he was to in the right. He was in the interview room, yeah. Yep. Yes. Because that's usually where our youth commission meets. So he was in our meeting room. So we met over at the high school. Mm -hmm. And um, and then... And then with the... the so uh, senior, senior center, center is where Denise Hildreth was with youth services. That's so and, all I so know. was that it though? Um, well, they were, they, they were pretty spread out. I don't, I don't want to confuse people and start no, talking they, about yeah, yeah, right, where right, things right. were. Right. But, but where right, they are now. Where, where they are now. And what's great about... Is it what, 80 South Street? 80 South Street. Okay. Um, just past uh, Co. or what used to be the North Pond House. Oh, just or, past Co. And Marathon. And, Marathon. and, and uh, yeah. the Italian restaurant, Maria's. Maria's, yes. Was it Maria's? It, it was Maria's. Mm -hmm. Good pun. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Thank you. I think North I have... North Pond House. Yeah. Yep. Maria's, that, that's now uh, bittersweet. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's uh, it, it really is a, a a great spot for for an interim um, location for town hall where uh, people can come. There's there's a lot of parking, which is something we're not yeah, used to downtown. Yeah, and that's really important. Uh, that that people can drive <laughs> right up, and then there's a receptionist right in the front that can send people exactly to where they have to go. Um, I heard that, and then there's a, some kind of guide, or is it a person that guides them, or she right. just directs and then, them? Right, and then as soon as you, you, you come in, there's a receptionist that. that'll, that'll point to, to where you have to go. Yeah. And then, then there's a, the um, town clerk's window, and then there's a hallway where there are three windows in a row with plenty of room for people. It's not like they're in a little, mm. a little uh, uh, telephone booth with three or four people. There's, there's plenty of room for the town clerk's office and then the uh, planning planning department and inspections and uh, then tax collection. So people don't even have to go in and walk by and, and disrupt uh, any of the, That's any so the offices. Great. What I wrote down from your PSA was that it's a one-stop shop mm -hmm. and that there's good parking, it's well laid out, and there are guides to help. Right. So your, your PSA was so succinct. Oh, good. Thanks. You know, that you... you you made it very clear that it was going to be easy to find and easy to to get where you needed to go once you mm -hmm. got there. So I thought that was very helpful. Why? What was the reason? Now we know the reason why, why town hall was was vacated, but maybe people who are watching have no idea why. Yeah. So do you want to share that? It was sure. Um, up on the third floor of, of town hall, um, one of the front rooms, uh, I believe it was uh, in uh, conservation commission office. Oh. A uh, a four-inch uh, pipe. Uh, actually, the the flange um, 
Here's the engineering. Flanges. I know. This is the here. You're going right to science right now. Pipes connect. A pipe didn't break, but it was actually the best way to describe it was an O-ring. Yeah. gave mm-hmm. up which Connected. is more of like a washer that goes be- yeah. between two two pieces of metal and if you've if, if you've looked at uh, at pipes where they have bolts going in a circle mm-hmm. so it was all bolted together but the washer in the middle gave out and so this this maybe three quarter inch wide um, uh, Space? Guess, stream of water oh. came out and it was so it was 360 degrees so it shot up at high pressure shot down at high, it shot All 360 degrees pre- and just squirted out and then and, down and, the wall and, and then it went right down the walls filled oh, up the floors okay. down the stairwells and so that's that's why so just the just the sheer pressure alone was it was enough to cut right into the walls because and wasn't it didn't. also wasn't that also water that had a chemical in it to keep it from freezing or something? Yeah, so there was a chemical? Prop- it well, was propylene glycol, which right. isn't... It's which, so, it, soap. It's, That's in soap. Um, yeah, well, yes. Uh, they, yeah, they use glycol. And they also use it for, as a diuretic for um, for cattle and stuff. So, <laughs> so it's really not a... It's just not, in it's, case it's, there was a lot of stuff there. clogged up in it's town hall. Yeah. So. Well, I just want to say that it's not a dangerous... It wasn't a dangerous Figurative, chemical right? at all. But, it, but what it did was that, that if any of these pipes um, happened to go into an area that wasn't uh, right. fully insulated, so that yeah. it wouldn't they they wouldn't freeze. Right. Um, so it's but an what it does it, it's slippery. Agent. But then again, mm-hmm. it, it's a it's a wetting agent also. What, oh. When when they have uh, fountains that they want a, they want a nice smooth edge, they add they add glycol to the water. Ah. To, to, and it's as a wedding agent, and it just it's a thickener, it, it, and so it makes it makes the the infinity pools look more. more yeah. Prettier. So is that what they put in that stuff that you can put on your car window, so that the the rain doesn't no, Rain-X? Is that no, no, the rain X. That's a, that's, that's, a, a that's, that's more. That was just a, a plug for rain X. I know. Well, yeah, I that was, that was more, it, <laughs> you'll be more receiving a check from not rain X. No. Really. <laughs> no, this is that, no. It's actually a wetting agent for the okay. for the water, but but uh, yeah. So that was in there. So not that that really added a lot to it, but it's just it's tougher to clean up because it's a little it's a little it ended up being a little sticky. But and not slippery. toxic. Non toxic. Not toxic. Nobody non-toxic. was in danger of any kind of of understand. So nobody at town hall was in danger of any kind of environmental no. toxin related to that. No, that there's, issue. there's that ethylene thing. glycol and this and this propylene glycol. Okay. And ethylene glycol is, is antifreeze that you put into cars. Propylene glycol is what you use for, for many other applications that... that uh, Including making pools, infinity pools, work right. better. So yes. on our next show, we're going to have John talk about the applications of all the glycol family oh. of chemicals. <laughs> yes. And the... And, yes. uh, well, they're, well, yeah, they're also high used in... High school chemistry. But they're also used in... Um, the uh, you know the pads that that, that you, you put on your elbows for uh, what my kids used to call them boo boo pads. Um, that you put them in the freezer. Oh, the, uh, the gel pads. The gel pads. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because they're, 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 they 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 so they can, so they actually don't completely freeze. They yes. just get a little got it. A little mushy. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and that's, right, right. that's the, the things they, the nurses they, give out in the. Um, no, they don't. But I know I know what you're talking. Yeah, about. but the gel pads are all. Uh, most of them have uh, ah. glycol in them. Yeah. Let's go back to town hall for a second. Yeah. So yeah. I had I'd asked you before we got on air. Um, somebody had asked me, how is the town paying for this extra rent? on South mm-hmm. Street, right? Because we have, for people who don't know, I don't think a lot Good of people question. know sometimes how we're run by town government. Yeah, We have a budget, right? We, we are run by the selectmen, the town manager answers to the selectmen, um, and then we have a budget line item for everything under the sun in our town, mm-hmm. except for things like there's no budgeted item for a flood in town hall requiring relocation for- Well, that called, that's, that's, it's called, a rainy day that's called, no, that's called insurance. That's you know, all the oh. yeah, so and John that's the thing was, is, yeah. it's, uh, so you know, this yeah. this renovations, this renovation is going to get uh, very expensive. I know I'm doing my kitchen, and that's very very expensive. So I can't imagine doing four floors of a, of of basically a you know, municipal or, or down commercial, to boards commercial now. commercial building. Is um, it but down so, to studs? right, so they they, they they cover the moving costs and all of that all that for us, and mm-hmm. and and, and uh, they, they help with the relocation. I'm not sure what the percentage is of what the town has to pick up versus what. Well, they Well, there's probably a deductible like you would on any insurance mm-hmm. policy, but just, so our taxes are not going to go up because of the flood no. in town hall. You and I are not going to pay out of pocket so that we have mm-hmm. to make sure that everybody's got ample parking and a unified place for us to do town business and government in. So it'll all be covered under some kind of claim and, and all of that. So. But the most important thing is that, that we do have 
a place where people can do town business. It's wonderful. You know, we really needed, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, even if there, there there are some costs that are incurred by the town, we have to make it easier on people because you know I, I remember sitting at Bill's Pizza and seeing people come mm-hmm. up and still still I knock saw on that the door, too. still knock on not knocking on the door, wondering right. what's going on. Well, the thousands I, of people that are probably watching the show tonight <laughs> now you know where to do town them. business. Yeah, yeah. The thousands. I, and I have to say, I usually <laughs> walk in with my excise bill and my whatever, you know, I stop in mm-hmm. to say hello and mm-hmm. get it stamped and returned. So I had to actually put a stamp on something, you know, because mm-hmm. I was trying to figure out how do I get, because well, I can't stop in. Right, because people may not have known where to go for some of these well, things. Yeah, yeah town clerk the transition. And, yeah, yeah, right, because you know, we tried putting it out everywhere, and that's one of the things we talked about at uh, Board of Select meeting yesterday is the is the, the town light up board mm-hmm. that we use for, for emergencies. You know, or vote today and that, that stuff. Mm-hmm. So we, we really want people to know that 80 South Street, so we're going to try and utilize Where that. Where are you going to put that? <clasps> That's in, front of, we, in front of the well, town we didn't, hall? We didn't, uh, we, we didn't get down to the micromanaging part of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just because... You know, General Patton always says, tell you what to do or how to do it. <laughs> Not both, because you're, you're very surprised <laughs> at the creative ways that people come up with uh, solving problems. Yes, how yes, old yes. is town hall, the one that we're renovating? How old is it? I think it says 1875, 65. I, you know, it, it, says, I think it's on, it says on the outside. Is it? Yeah. And actually, while we're on that question, if anyone knows, please feel free to call in 508 435 7880. And I can't, or I can see email it, us live at hcam.tv. I feel like it's 1865. I well, it's not 1998, or, right? So to uh, what I was getting yeah, at yeah. is just like we have center school that has outlived itself. You know, we got our money's right. worth, certainly from a community's perspective. But And now we have this building. Do you think it financially makes sense to still renovate Town Hall with the oh, yeah. amount of money, the costly? It's gorgeous. Nature of it. Well, Exterior. you know, it, it, it's that, that's a that's a really great question because um, the renovation is being picked up by insurance, so it, so it's 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 going Perfect. to be renovated. Functionally, though, does it? But, still but work? You're, you're absolutely right. We may ha- we may have outgrown it, hmm. um, but you know, but that's something that people can talk about with the with the new center, center school. Center school. Maybe Put center some school becomes in it. There. Um, but when people see how efficient the uh, 80 South Street is. I, I mean, it's uh, oh. it's great for the for for, for the um, town hall workers because uh, there are not people cutting mm-hmm. behind their desks right. in order to uh-huh. get to see. Uh, oh, in the board of health, if somebody wanted to to go and see the the health director, the board of health director, they had to go around uh, mm-hmm. a few other desks, and you know, it's the same thing with with seeing the people in inspectional services. You're cutting through people's offices, right. and they may be on the phone or talking about something. Yeah. Um, I personal. never thought of that. I do because it was just always like that. Mm. But you're right. So and I, now, now there's three windows. So most of the business people have to take care of, people can do without even going into the office area. Now, for somebody like me that that uses a, a, a trip to the town hall to visit all the town hall employees, it's a little more difficult because I go past the three windows and then I actually have to be buzzed in oh, because yeah. it's because of the, it is, it's a high security area also because mm-hmm. it used to be a EMC. Oh, that's interesting. Right, right, oh, right. that's so I didn't know so which building 80 so South Street was. Passed. Yeah, it was oh, Caterpillar, Caterpillar at one time, and then I know exactly okay. where it is now, right? Yeah, so it's so, a nice big building. But they're not considering having that be Town Hall. They're no. renovating Town Hall. We're, re- we're, re- we're renovating Town yeah, Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and, we're, okay. and, and and plans are to move back into Town Hall. But that, but it was the question that that was that was posed was you know it's you know the the town when we look at just look at the town budgets of how in, in the last ten years. You know, we we yeah. are a uh, we're almost a ninety million dollar company. Wow! I've heard you say that wow. before. I've just I don't million. I don't think a lot of people understand That's that we are run like a company should be run, yep. and that it's a huge budget. And we do have an email. Why is Parks and Rec on Main Street? Are they still on Main Street, or have they relocated to Eighty South Street? No, that 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 was done before the before Town Hall uh, imploded there or flooded. <laughs> <laughs> Um, right, and so it's at the because old high they, school building, the old high school, Park right. Right. So that was done yeah. beforehand, yeah. And, and and we we, yeah. we signed a short term lease. Okay, and so it actually worked out great for them because they don't they didn't have to move at all. Perfect. Uh, we have another and email. Oh, good. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. So awesome. any other any update on the future use of Center School? I would love to turn that into condos. That's just no, and, that, and youth I commission would I like it to be love a, that building. a community center for kids to use the gym, like and, a rec center and parks and rec. 
Yeah. I love well, that you know, if, but, but think, of, think of the size of it. Center. Think of the size of it. You know, it, yeah. it's and, well, and the amount, of, the amount of parking and, mm -hmm. and all of that. You know, and, and it may have outlived its usefulness as a school mm -hmm. because you know, just like we were we were just talking about yeah. how you know, how schools evolved. You know, the the way people use a town hall is, has, has evolved. Absolutely. Right. You know, True. when we when we were trying to have six, seven, eight meetings a night in right. town hall, and people are meeting in the back of somebody's That's office. Why we went to we're in the station. basement. We're we're yeah. in the cat. We're in their, their little lunch area. We're right. trying to meet. We're, we're meeting in, in the, <laughs> in the around the little round table yeah. in front in the selectman's office. You know, it's, so we we've got to start thinking like a, like a town that that's. A bigger town than it was. Well, not a bigger town, but but you know, as well run as we are, you know, again, we've had, this is we've had two underrides in three years. Yeah, operational we're, we're, we're efficiency. Operate, is what we we're, need. we're really efficient. Yeah, we've got the, we've got the, the new school, the new library, the new DPW. Um, you know, we're, we're talking about uh, you know undergrounding wires and straightening out the street mm -hmm. and, and bringing more life downtown. The the uh, marathon center. You know, mm -hmm. that would be something, mm -hmm. another wonderful thing to, to have in the town. Yeah. Uh, so we've got to start. Actually, it would be kind of cool. Well, it's you on, know, the, on the green. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it could be. But then, you know, it all depends on on, on what's involved. Again, right. you know, do you, you know, do you want to restrict something that's supposed to be a, a vision of the future and put mm -hmm. it into a, a, a building from last century? Mm -hmm. um, or is it, or is it better? Like we we started speaking about, uh, is it big enough to um, to be the new do new town hall for the front part of it? The back part of it may be a a um, right. youth center, youth center or something. But that's that's uh, that's a whole nother there's a whole yeah. other committee yeah. that's been formed to right. to look into all of these things, and and that's an important one important aspect of it is to have a lot of public input, that's and great. then and then step back and see. What's possible? What can we really afford? How can mm -hmm. we really pull this off that that makes the best use of that building? And if if we move town hall there, what do we do with the old town hall that doesn't right. have much parking? Right. So true, we've got true, to think true. of all of these things. Because it's Bill's Pizza parking, most of it or a lot of it. Uh, right. all, all, of, all, well, of it. all but I think four or five spaces. And I, and I have to say, I think Norman does not park there. I think he parks. At St. John's and, and walks down. And that's and very and, kind of him. Well, that's where and that's respectful of right, him. and that's well, that's because uh, he he follows the rules. He's he a does. good guy. He's I have good. to say, from from a perspective of trying to fit in town hall with all the meetings that go on, <laughs> yeah. that the board of health has met in oh, the yeah. kitchenette area, mm -hmm. where um, we've had people come in in a space smaller than this table, if you were to square this out, and met in there wow. um, with some of people. I so there was like three board there. members in and the then basement? the admin, no, on the third floor, uh, second, second floor, floor oh. second, second floor, floor right near, near Norman's near, near office. Near the restrooms. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, near the restrooms. We've been, we were relegated to the basement. We were relegated yeah. to the third floor. Yeah. That's Marathon Fund Committee, which that's where we meet there. I believe it. Right outside a LUP on the third floor, outside mm -hmm. Elaine's yes. old office, I, we met, you, that you open there. area. Right. We were having a meeting. And you can hear the board of meeting going on downstairs. Somebody came up one day and was very... I will say unprofessional, uh, and and scolded noise. us about mm -hmm. the noise, and we, we, we were in a meeting for an right. hour at that point already. So, so yeah, exactly. And so it was we have to do. It's we've we've exactly. got to really be mindful, I right. think, when we're talking about future use, and not yeah. just think about what do we what do we need today. It's not just today; it's the right. next twenty years, and our growth is is so aggressive right now in the town. Right. Um, I don't know what. When I moved to Hopkinton, I remember having a conversation. Mike Shepard may never remember this, but I remember having a conversation with him. And I said, is Hawkington done growing? He goes, another another year or two will be at our capacity for growth. Oh. That was, yeah, 16 that was wrong. years ago. And I thought, wow, okay, great. You know, we have a lot of land. Yeah, this is beautiful, beautiful. Open space yeah. and preservation and conservation mm -hmm. and, and all of this. And uh, and look at us now. Yeah. And well, you know, it, it's, it, we can't stay stagnant because there, there, right. there are yeah. so many towns. You know, you, you look at the, like Stockbridge with 1,800 people. They would love to have some of some of the things going on I that love we have. Stockbridge. It's beautiful, you know. And where they where <laughs> the they actually years. have they actually have some uh, un have unwritten, there? Rules, unwritten um, bylaws that uh, that they look at the downtown through the Norman Rockwell painting, and if anything looks a little bit different, <laughs> they don't do it. Is that it's, true? It's not in a bylaw. That is but not that's true. Unofficial, that is oh, no, not that's true. A, it's an unofficial bylaw. That's so funny. But no, but there are many towns th that that would would love to be able to have 
have some of the the action and growth. We'll right. Look at, we'll, you know, uh, we're still in the black. You know, I, with the underwrites, and as I said before, new library. Yeah, it is you amazing. You know, and that's something we have to think about: is yeah. that right now we don't have much meeting space, right. but when we have the new library, right. you know, we could yeah. have so, there are some beautiful great, spaces. In some, there. some great spaces. Yeah. Um, you know, and 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 with the the new school opening, you know, maybe there'll be something open there for us, and right. we start, don't have true. to always go that's to the high true. school. That's true. I didn't even. So, I hadn't thought of that. Right. Um, I was just going to say one more thing about yeah. about meeting spaces in the new school. Um, just talking about in terms of, of planning for the future. Are there any other areas that the selectmen have looked at in terms of? And I know Ben Palaco in the past has talked about a destination, Hopkinton being a destination for our downtown, mm -hmm. um, where you can have experiences. You know, you could walk to the Cultural Arts Alignment uh, yeah. uh, Alliance. You could walk to all these other places. Yeah. Has the town said, you know, what, what about that building on Hayden Row? What about that area over there? Has Has there been any other identified? This is like a planning. Yeah, just question. in terms of, of mm -hmm. are there any other areas that that the town has said, yeah, maybe we could utilize that for more offices, meeting spaces, those kind of things. Well, that's well, really not that's, not that's really not in the purview of, of the board of selectmen. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah. We, we do have the permanent building committee. We do have some other committees that yeah. that can look at those things, as yeah. you know, as uh, as well as uh, uh, I guess. Well, planning board really doesn't do that, but no. Um, well, yeah. So that, I guess that's it's something people can. So I, I had a question. Um, how could people give input into how the center school reuse? Is Go to the Center School Reuse Committee meetings. Dot com. Do we have it? How would no, they? No, they know. just they were just formed. We actually know. we just put. I was they, at that meeting. We just we just uh, uh, appointed um, Claire Wright, uh, Select Claire Wright as the liaison from the Board of Selectmen okay. yesterday. So I don't believe that they've scheduled any meetings or anything mm -hmm. yet. Um, yeah. But uh, you know, I think that that'll be a, a fun committee. With, yeah. uh, with with lots of great ideas coming out of it. Yeah. Is that limited to amount of people, or is that it's just five? I know you. It's already been. It's five. A, yeah, all the all the spots have been and filled. And it was it was. Okay. Yeah, I, it, I have to say it would it only surprised five people, me. Five, only five people went out for it. Well, that's what I was going to so say. So we appointed five people. It surprised me because it really wasn't there wasn't a lot of PR about it. It was surprising. It may have been it because of the summer. It may have been because it's the beginning yeah, yeah, of the yeah. summer. People just finishing up school. Right. People so getting ready to go So that's why I think you trips. only had five because people yeah. didn't really. It wasn't on anybody's radar. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely a, a really important thing for people to have opinions on. Mm -hmm. You know, so because it's such a central location mm -hmm. and a beautiful. I think it's a beautiful building on the outside. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. so to make it a useful, beautiful, meaningful place. Um, and uh, the youth commission is just thinking because that's where the kids go, you know, when they mm -hmm. go by default to the common. Um, but I'm sure they'll, you know, a lot of input and they'll come up with something good. Mm -hmm. You know, but then when we start thinking of youth commission, also, you know, we 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 are building uh, another facility down on Fruit Street. Great. Um, you know, so so you know, we really are thinking about uh, about kids all the time. Of course, um, but and that's do, where they dogs. go after school. And, and dogs, really and, and dogs. Dog I know the dog part. But that was a great. Now, now yeah. that's, I, I, I don't know who who did it, but I thank you whoever who got the, that whoever idea. got that grant. Yeah. But you know, we got two hundred fifty thousand dollars to awesome. to build that that dog park. You know, awesome. it's yeah, you know, and that's that's something else that that uh, I, I, I want uh, the community to, to understand how how hard that uh, the chief of police the. Uh, the uh, fire chief and 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 the and the, the lieutenants and the deputies. Sorry, you guys. Don't forget anybody. Everyone. Um, Everyone. You know, and no, no, in the board of health and 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 uh, and uh, uh, land use and planning, every, they all work um, to get grants for all kinds of things. That's I, I know the schools do do their own their own stuff to get grants for for and anything. use services. I think all but, town employees don't. don't they but don't? but it, you know, it's just so important, to, you know, that. Uh, that they go out and find this, you know, a thousand dollars, five thousand, ten thousand, mm -hmm. and you know, this one they were able to find That's a amazing. two hundred fifty thousand dollar grant to, to build this, you know, and, and again, it covers it covers all the costs, yeah. you know, and it sets us up for for, for parking for a trailhead mm -hmm. to, to work up for this, for the center it's trail, perfect, um, you know, and then that 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 can help us um, with this with the spot so that we can we can finally do that the you know hook up Milford to Ashland. Yeah, and that's one of my dreams to, to yeah. finally. So, and that's that. the, the rail trail is trying well, to hook. Yeah, it, yeah. Hopkinton well, yeah. Well, well Hopkinton really. Milford we don't really have too. a rail rail trail. Well, we, we were working we, on it. Uh, you know what happened was that that um, 
uh, some other towns maybe had the better foresight and and, mm. and took took over the land uh, from the railroads uh, early enough, and that's mm -hmm. why Holliston had a much easier time building theirs. Milford mm -hmm. had an easier time, but for us, many of the the 66 foot wide areas were uh, Is picked it up legacy by, farms? Indi by Is individual that? people. Now, legacy farms that uh, a lot of that is is available, and they are putting they are going to work to put trails there. Okay. We have. Um, uh, they, they, as part of the, the agreement with them that they're putting trails there, but then they also, as part of the agreement to put in the um, North Road, we got, uh, we got a lot of money to uh, uh, make our trails a lot better also. Mm -hmm. So, so awesome. Legacy Farms really did give us uh, a lot of money to uh, work on the trails. So that was a good thing. Mm -hmm. Remember the state of the town just a, a little bit ago, a month ago maybe the mm -hmm. state of the town was? Um, Maybe it wouldn't. No, it was meet the meet the candidates night. Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, there was a young girl who said, "What are you going to do to preserve the trails?" Do you remember when she asked that question? No, and I she, know. she was lovely. She, I've actually known her from around town, and uh, she doesn't live far from me. And she was, she was really serious. Like that was important to her as a seventeen-year-old. How are you going to preserve these kind of things so that my son, I can do this? You know, yeah. I can walk on these things. I love to be outdoors. So it was it was very nice to, to hear her and the community's concern over that. Mm -hmm. And that, on the flip side, we are actually doing that to mm -hmm. bring those things together and make those happen. So that that's always nice. Well, that's why I was one of the main. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. And there is an Upper Charles Rail Trail Committee, which is working on that. Has been well, we're, we're the Upper Charles, Upper Charles uh, Trail Committee, but one of the other things we're looking into is is a uh, more comprehensive trail because our, you know mm -hmm. our uh, our charter is to hook up Ashland to Milford. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was the oh, th that's okay, a, yeah. that, that's the Upper Charles True. Trail. Yeah, um, Ashland to Milford. But Go but you know, and then you know, mm -hmm. starting from the center trail, and and that's what we've been doing, you know, trying to buy small pieces to try and do a hookup. And one of the things was that you know, there, there, there's a piece here, a piece there, a piece here, and the, and and it's you know more connect the dots. Mm -hmm. And and what we try to do though is to connect the dots, so we have the the the, the prettiest, most efficient trail that doesn't impose a trail upon uh, neighborhoods that may not want it to be too close. We don't want to cut through the middle of a neighborhood yeah. with with, right. a, with a wide trail or also. Or too close to people's backyards. Right. You know, that's a little uncomfortable. You know, without, without additional mitigation because there yeah. are, you know, there are people that are next to the, to the center trail now that 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 have spoken to me that said, look, we were supposed to have a fence put up, and, oh. and it was supposed to be a couple of years ago, and we haven't had it done oh. yet. Could you look into it? And that's one yeah. of the things I, I, that I've been speaking to Town Hall about is, look, did we make promises? And if we did, we have to fulfill them. Right. Thank um, you. Because then, you know, because then people might be more apt to say, okay, well, they did what they said they were going to do for mitigation from for my property. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, even though they. That's they, really great that you're going to help with that. Well, there was you make a promise, right. whether or not it was it was in, right. in you know in, in my tenure on the board or somebody else's. If if they if we made a promise, we have to follow. But you're going to do your due diligence and evaluate that and and figure that out and make sure that we can address mm -hmm. those things. Yeah, you know, and, and and as I said, we're we're trying to have a uh, another trail group formed that that looks at all the trails because right now the upper upper Charles has a has a budget. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to use that budget um, to keep the Upper Charles Trail cleaned up. But then, like you said, how do we preserve the other trails? Right. Well, it's more than preserve. We want to enhance, to, to enhance them mm -hmm. and, 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 and connect them. Right. We don't want to have just trails to nowhere where people go up and then have to walk yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, connect them and actually have trails that go someplace mm -hmm. that, that can help the kids. You know, I'm, I'm up in the other side. I'm up in the Upton side of town. Mm -hmm. And um, for, for the last 20 years, I kept thinking that my kids had someday might be able to go down a safe way to get to downtown. Right. But we've either got to go down West Elm Street. Or take a helicopter. Yeah, West, we, El well, West Elm Street <laughs> or West Main Street. Yeah. yeah. Both that I would never ride my bike right. on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let alone my kids. I'm off of Fruit Street. You have the same thing. Mm -hmm. Fruit, Fruit Street, Street, they just bad. installed one of those um, police speed uh -huh. things to let you know. I forget. And, and Chief Ed Lee, and when he was El on a couple of weeks El ago, was talking about... Yep. about your speed you come around mm -hmm. a curve mm -hmm. i've always i've argued with my children said i do not want you on fruit street on a bike yeah, it's, it's you take your life in your hands when you're driving on fruit street right and so. my where i am on cross we to get to the center of town until they put the sidewalk all the way down if they do there's no way i had an international student living at my house who wanted to ride a bike around town 
And I said, I really am not comfortable with you on this very busy road in a bicycle on a bicycle with people texting and there's this much of a lane so on the side. So we're a small town. Yeah. Right. And and still don't feel comfortable enough to let our kids right. well, because that, ride or walk because around. Well, we're a big town. We're not a small town. This we is, are not a small town. 135 is kind of a main we road are, is the thing. Well, we're not a town of 2,000, but we're not. A, we're certainly not a city size. Right. But No, what I meant is it takes it takes me over 20 minutes, 25 minutes to go from my Geographic house to your house. Side, yes, side. that's right. Yes, yeah. yes, it does. You're at one side of the town, I'm at that's the other exactly side. That's exactly right. And you're at the other side. Yes, <laughs> yes. 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 we form a triangle. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, right, because you're on the Ashland line. I'm on the, line. I'm on the Upton line. And I'm on the Westboro, South Carolina. Westboro. Right. So, so yeah, yeah, we can say that yep. we have... We have a small town feel. We do. We're a very large Agreed. area. We well, with and, a lot of and water. And I think personality-wise, well people right, a lot are, of water. have that still small town connection, caring mm -hmm. and respect for each other. Um, I was going to say, I lived in Weston for mm -hmm. about six years, and Weston has a wonderful trail network mm -hmm. um, in a very charming downtown. But they were able to put a bypass in. Mm -hmm. So that Route 20 bypass, you know, Boston Post Road bypass, means that the town center is not on that artery, so mm -hmm. to speak. Um, but we, we don't have the luxury of being able to do that. Well, right, because um, r putting roads in are very expensive. Yeah. And um, no I, I can't imagine uh, trying to get that through town meeting. You know, no. one of the great cut through roads was, was what they were talking about um, uh, through uh, the Parkwood area, mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, cut through that yep. would take all of those, all the Harvey trucks. Oh, yes. we'd go from off. 135 yeah, yeah, back yeah, by yeah. McIntyre. Well, not near McIntyre, but in that neck of the mm -hmm. woods. Yeah, we hook up 135 right. to basically to uh, to 495, mm -hmm. and it would just cut off all that area from you know Wood Street and right. uh, and Elm Street. Um, but uh, you know that was going to be millions of dollars. And, right. uh, the, no. and I feel like there was an environmental mm -hmm. piece to that as well. There were vernal pools or a small well, no, no, there was, it was, it was, it was wet. It would have had, 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 had to be bridges. You know, but the thing um, is that that, um, that that area wasn't it was never really a wet area. It's when they put 495 in. That's correct. I've and, read that and they, as well. And when yeah. 495 went in, they I don't believe that they did their due diligence to to trash. allow for drainage because that used to be the town dump oh. that area. That's so interesting. How long ago that do you know? That was a that was a long time ago, but that was a town dump, and uh, you know it got filled in and covered and and, and, gre and green now, green and wet. But it's only got wet because of 495. But Danny McIntyre yeah. said they took some McIntyre property to put 495. By, no, eminent, by eminent property. domain, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They took a lot of people's property. Well, that's why we have a West Elm and an Elm. Ah. Because if you look at a, if you if you if you look at a, an aerial view, you could see where where Elm Street was and where Parkwood cut across it. Then then, oh. then the 495. Then you can see West Elm where oh, West Elm turns. You know, and then the state took a, a big chunk of land for um, for the salt shed. Wow. Yeah, we have all that. Wow, wow. So we had so much fun talking that we are almost out of time. We oh, would love to I have you gonna, on again. You yeah, are wonderful. You have to say. In your spare yeah, time, right. please come yeah. back. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yes. any any last words you want to say about visiting Town Hall? Yeah, I, I I think everybody should really just come and see it. It's and see how efficient that uh, that the the new uh, temporary unified Town Hall is. And when will the old Town Hall be redone in its entirety? Do we have a would you have an end date end date um, yet? I'm not sure. Well, uh, as 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 a as a man that's in the trades, you know we. Three Quickly, <laughs> we, we we look at it. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, they're saying October, November. Okay. Um, All right. And so yeah, so never, November would be great, but uh, we're doing the best we can. Thank you, thank you so much for joining us. Have a and good we'll night, everyone. We'll see you next week.